What is going on guys, Burning Spirit 5, back with some more Pokemon Black 2. So here I am, just chilling with these uh, giant Pikachu and Pichus right here. You know, just chilling, enjoying the scenery, you know, having a snooze near the Pikachus, because that's what I like to do. But uh, anyway, this episode, we're going after our fourth gym badge. Just going to check my Pokemon real quick, make sure they're all handy dandy. And yeah, they're looking pretty good. So yeah, I took down all the gym trainers last episode, so this time all there is... All there is left is Alisa. I think that's her name. I'll find out when I get to her, but at the moment I want to call her Alisa. Or Alisa, I want to say Alisa. But yeah, let's go take on the gym. Alright, so we are back. Gone up that awesome catwalk. Showing off our moves right here. Oh yeah, catwalk. Good stuff right there. I mean, I'm just... Everyone's here to see me. Everyone is here to see me walk up this catwalk. I mean, it's a good sight to see. But yeah... We are up here, and this is uh, Alice, Alisa, Alice, I really don't know, I, I'm sorry, but I will find out, but check out this background scene, like, that is so cool, just the little things in this game, that make things so much better, it's just awesome, they did a really good job on things in this game, I would have checked my Pokemon, but I'm just going to double check it one more time, make sure I want to start off with, uh, I have my Reef up, up, up front at the moment, or Flaffy I should say, um, I'm thinking if I want to switch that, but I think it's going to be the best bet. I think she starts with a, um, I don't even know what it's called. That flying rat thing. I think she starts with that, so we'll see what happens. But Welcome to the main stage. My beloved Pokemon and your Pokemon shall compete. We're going to see whose star shines brightest. Ah, oh, that's really all she says. I thought she was, was going to keep going. But Alisa, or Alice. Damn it, it's still spelled... I'm going to say Alisa. That's what I'm saying, Alisa. I'm pretty sure that's right. I haven't really seen the anime, so I don't really know how they pronounce it, but I'm going with Elisa. So she starts with an Omolga, that's what I was thinking of, Flying Rat. I was thinking of Pateritsu, but I knew that was 4th gen, so I really was trying to figure it out, but I couldn't. But either way, we're going to start off with um, a Charge, because that will get my Special Defense up, and it will also make my uh, Thunder Shock a lot stronger, so it's a good, good thing to do. And I don't think this would be able to do too much damage to me. I could be wrong, but I don't think, like, Bolt Switch or anything would do too much damage. Especially if I'm getting up these charges. But you do have Quick Attack and Physical Attack, so... Yeah, that, that could be painful. But I should be fine. And my Special Defense is now up by two stages. So, we'll see how this Thunder Shock can do. Unless he has someone that can stop Electric Dive Attacks, which is possible. But now you're paralyzed, which is even better. Now I'm faster. Alright, cool. So I was thinking maybe it had something to take in electric attacks, but it doesn't seem like it. So that's a good thing. Um, Alright, we're going to go for a super potion here, just to be on the safe side. And level 28, like my highest is level 23, and you're level 28, so I am pretty underleveled right now, but you know, I should still be able to deal with it. It's not like the hardest gym. But then again, I don't really have anything really super effective against it, so it could be tough, but I should be fine. Unless you get a critical hit, but, yeah, I don't know, I'll use another Super Potion. I don't like that, but I'm going to use another one. Uh, if you're having trouble with this gym, I recommend just going to a random cave, possibly getting a, a, a Rock and Roller or something, even like evolving it, I don't know what its evolved form name is, but if you're having to evolve it, you should probably be like perfectly fine in this gym, with that Pokemon. Even like level 22 of it would probably be pretty sweet, so... Yeah, there's definitely ways to uh, go around these gyms if you're having trouble. I'll go for another Thunder Shock. I should probably go for Takedown to see how much that does. And man, you're getting critical hits a lot. That is just really rude. Um, I think I'm faster, but I'm gonna go for another potion. I really, I don't know. This is gonna be my last potion. It's my last potion. I swear, my last potion right now. And you're switching out. Why well, don't you just do Volt Switch? Instead of actually switching out, you would have done damage anyway. I don't know, whatever. Alright, let's see what this thing can do. I want to Thunder Wave this thing, unless this has some sort of electrical charging thing. Um, I don't know. Well, I want to go for Thunder Wave anyway. Hopefully this survives this, and hopefully like static happens, or at least... Alright, I did survive it, which is a good start. And I th yeah, I thought you had something like that. Well, that's a bad thing, but I had to figure that out. I had to figure that out. So we'll go for a takedown. 
Going for a flame charge again. Luckily, it's not doing too much damage. It just speed is going up ridiculously. That didn't do too much. Um, well, I'm going to let uh, Zeus die right now, just because I really want to see you get paralyzed. Oh, um, no, okay. Well, I was hoping static would happen, but it, maybe it doesn't happen with motor drive. I don't know. Um, hmm. Interesting. I could fully use that. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm throwing in Mandibuzz. I still have him with me. Not part of my team, but I just need him for a little help. A little bit of that, uh, action. I don't even know. I was going to say what the name of it is, but I don't know what kind of bird that is. I really don't. I, don't, I should know this, too, because I'm a big fan of birds, and yet I don't know its name, which is weird. But alright. Well, I mean, I know its name, but I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what kind of bird it is. I just can't... Weird. Um, well, no, I Plot did a lot, actually. But I don't have any special attacks. I would have done a uh, Nasty Plot, but it doesn't really help out. Maybe you have a berry. I'm gonna go for a pluck. And why aren't you using, like, electric type attack? Oh, I get it. It's like, I think it only has Volt Switch. So, yeah, it wouldn't really wanna risk losing all its uh, speed stats or something. Like that. Yeah, sweet, we stole a citrus berry. That's what I'm talking about, stealing that citrus berry. Awesome stuff right there. So we're gonna go for a pluck again. And, yes, yeah, so far, so good. I mean, this thing isn't doing too much damage, which is a good thing. My de defense stats definitely lower in there, but my speed stats are rising, so that's pretty good. Um, alright, we'll go for a nasty plot. I think that's good enough to kill it. I think. I think that's on the safe side. Yeah, this nasty plot should take it out, I hope. I don't even know how weak armor works, but it seems like if it does a physical attack, I seem to lose defense or something. I don't know. It, it, I don't really get it. If you know how to, if you know what it is, explain in the comments. That would be awesome. But either way, we take down that uh, thing over because she was just too scared to do Volt Switch, apparently. Ah, uh, Flappy. Well, I want to stay in just because. Um. I'll go for another nasty plot. And holy crap, I haven't even been going over her moves. I was meant to do that. Um, so, alright, I'll go. Uh, it moves in the description anyway, but I'll go over them right now. So, uh, this Flappy knows. Uh, let me uh, get my notes here. Alright, this Flappy knows Volt Switch, Take Down, Thunder Wave, and Electro Ball. It's level 28, obviously. Um, if you're playing in challenge mode, it'll be level 30. That's right, 30. That is ridiculous. Um, yeah, and her Omolga knows Volt Switch, Quick Attack, Pursuit, and Electro Ball. And her Zeb Striker has a Citrus Berry, knows Volt Switch, Flame Charge, Quick Attack, and Pursuit. So the reason she wasn't attacking with Volt Switch is, as I said, she would have wanted to keep that speed boost going. So. You know, it's a tough thing, but I guess it works. But, you know, it didn't make her lose the battle. But uh, anyway, playing on challenge mode, you'll have a fourth Pokemon, which is a Voltic. That is level 30, knowing the moves Volt Switch, X Scissor, Thunder Wave, and Energy Ball. Her Amolga will also have a Citrus Berry. Same with her Zeb Striker, and this is challenge mode, by the way. So, yeah, and all the Pokemon are level 30, except Zeb Striker, which is level 32. So, yeah, pretty, pretty challenging right there. Um, I'll right, we'll go for Spirit. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely better in challenge mode, because it knows Aerial Ace is a Molga. So, yeah, definitely harder. I'm going to go for a, I don't know, a Leaf Tornado. And, uh, Flaffy also knows, uh, Confuse Ray instead of Electro Ball, too, in challenge mode. And a Voltic, yeah, Energy Ball. Interesting stuff. And uh, has abstract and no stomp instead of quick attack. So, interesting. It did make it more challenging. I haven't done challenge mode yet, because I haven't actually finished Black 2 before. I've only finished White 2. And uh, that's why I'm playing this. Like, I really want to get to that challenge mode. And I may even do, like, a, a 
a challenge mode, Nuzlocke or something later on. But, yeah. Um, we're gonna go for a growth, because I don't think it's gonna do too much damage to me. So, that growth will make my special attack go up. And that will help out, pretty sweet. It's gonna be nice. My attack and my special attack are actually pretty sweet. And that Thunder Wave. That Thunder Wave. Making me, uh, not be able to move so fast. Take down. Now, does the Electric Ball do more damage now that my speed's been cut in half? Or is it specifically only its the base stats? Or, like, the actual stats? I don't know. I'm not really sure how that works, but... Well, I don't even have a Paralyzed Heal, do I? That's what I was meant to go do. But I didn't do that. So I gotta deal with this whole battle with a freaking Paralyzed Heal. Without a Paralyzed Heal. Too bad. God damn it. Well, let's go for a Lift on it. Take down. Critical hit. How many critical hits do you want in this battle? God damn it. Oh man, how am I killing this thing? I guess we'll go Eevee, I guess. I really... I'm really on the bad side here. Let's go for that dig. Take down. Shouldn't do too much. Gonna hit about half. Alright, going for that dig. Hopefully Eevee can get a cure right now. Alright, sweet. So, oh, I got a critical hit on my own. I'm pretty sure that would have mattered. I'm going to say that the critical hit mattered, so that's cool. Holy crap, that gave out a crap ton of experience. Level 21 already. And we're learning Covet. Or Covet. I don't know what that is. Still Satarga's held item. Well, that's pretty sweet. I'll get rid of Sand Attack, because I don't think I need Sand Attack. Alright, so this Omolga is paralyzed, I believe. So, I'm checking out Eno right now, which is my, uh, oh, what is it? It's not P-Dove, I, I don't know what it's evolved from name. Um, yeah, I really don't know what's evolved from name, but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for throwing out Eno, which is the evolved form of P-Dove, I don't know its name, my bad, but, yeah. I really can't remember, why can't I remember? It's P-Dove something and Pheasant, I don't know. Again, terrible with fit your name. It's just absolutely terrible, so my bad, but... Uh, return, quick attack, work up... Uh... Let's go for a quick attack. See how much that does. Enough to... Critical hit, there we go. So that, that killed it. Sweet. That is how we do it. That is how we vet our fourth gym badge. Oh, it gives that a crap ton of experience. Mind detect. That is not a very good move. There we go, take down Alisa. You shocked me. Ah, oh, it kept going, I was gonna say, but whatever. Alright, there we go. Fourth gym badge in the old uh, badge case. Look at that, how fancy is that badge? It looks so good. And this animation is BAM! Awesome. Can you imagine this in fifth, fourth gen, or third gen, sorry, third gen remakes? I mean, I'm, I'm so excited for those third gen remakes. But adding everything in this game into the new games, but better, because obviously they'll have more ideas then, that's just going to be, I mean, it's going to be amazing. But there we go. Our fourth gym badge in the bag, or in the badge case thing. Going down this catwalk. We are the champions, and here she comes down with her catwalking ladies. And uh, apparently we have to go somewhere with her. I mean, that's, that's cool. I mean, I'm okay with that. She's pretty, pretty fine, you know what I'm saying? Um, really? That's it? You just wanted to, you just wanted to bask in that glory, didn't you? You couldn't handle that. I was going down the catwalk by myself. And I'm the only one in the world to get a gym badge. That's how good I am. You know, to, to make it better, like, honestly, they should have done freaking. They should have put N there, and they should have put... Well, I don't know how they would put the other trainer in there, because technically, he doesn't uh, have a name, or he doesn't have a real name. Well, I guess it has a default name, so they should have, like, put that there. That would have been so much cooler. But yeah, we're in the Pokemon Center here. It's like the one time you'll see me heal up. Because I'm too lazy to edit it out. Uh, yeah, but yeah, they should have put N's name there. Like, this is the sequel. This is the one time I expect it to be there. Have N's name there, possibly the other person's name. 
this, I feel like that should have that should have been done, but I guess they didn't do that, which is sad. But either way, we got our fourth gym badge. Let's check out, bro. Let's check that case out, that uh, briefcasey thing, not briefcase, but you know, trainer card. Oh, you can't even see. That's so gay. I thought they were gonna put something on the top screen. But there we go. So I don't know what else we can do. Um. Uh, do I want to help you now, or do I want to do a next episode? Uh, we'll do a next episode. Definitely next episode. But at the moment, um, I'm just going to come over there. Oh, this side. And show off what's over here, because I don't know what there is. And I said I would do that, so... Yeah. Alright, so I think there's just places to train. I think. Oh, crap. Alright, train a battle. Well, I'm just going to edit this battle out, so I'll see you after the battle. And there we go, we take down Mr. Bicycle Man, and he had a Tranquil, which also answers my question of what the name of the Volform P-Dove is. Tranquil. I would not have thought about that. That was, wasn't even running through my mind at all when I was thinking about it. But, yeah, not too much we can do here. I'm just going to check if there's like an extra thing where... One of those hidden things, but no, I'll probably do that later. But yeah, that's over there to some trainers. I will explore that at some point because I do need some training. I mean, god damn it. But yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what's happening. Um, well, that's what's happening for this episode. We're done. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I mean, how about, how about the Burning Spirit Fire family? Show some love. Thank you guys for watching and uh, later.